hey guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to use voxel plugin to create infinite world i'm going to show the basics of it so i have this um third person project created in unreal engine 4 all right so so what i'm going to do i want to remove this and then drag and drop voxel world okay there you go and then and i'm going to reset the location to zero 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 and there you go okay and so we have something going on over here right that's pretty good um so i'm going to make some changes in the details if i if i choose voxel world right I'm going to change this to RGB. Okay. And then I'm going to go in the content. I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, you don't have to put it here. I'm going to call it Voxel in this folder. I'm going to create right click and go to Voxel. I'm going to go to Voxel Graph. Change this to object. And then I should be able to plug in my new voxel graph which is i call it new voxel graph generator okay so change it to object from class and then just assign that and this is what you're going to get and now double click on this graph and this is what you get i'm going to quickly do set value so i'm going to press x then left click i'm going to press y left click now I'm going to right click and look for 2D IQ noise. I'm going to go for this. And then plug in X and Y. Then I'm going to drag the TX get slope from derivatives. And put the Y here. So let's create a fourth parameter and call it frequency okay and this is going to be 0 .00, 0 0.001 and um so we're going to take the value and subtract with this and then we're going to multiply with something like 200 but we're going to create a float parameter float parameter and call it let's call it multiplier and uh, assign a value of let's say 200 and the output is going to go to a new local variable we're going to call it land so so this is a basic thing so if i right click here right and say start preview is going to show up on the right corner so this is the height map and this is how it looks like i can do like press z and left click i can do z minus and then land or yeah we can call it height as well but i call it land so land is fine z minus land and then it goes to the value um now if i uh preview this now we have this wall generating right now if i go outside there you go our wall is generating you have to zoom out to see all right so now we're going to do is get land we're going to do if land is greater than zero then it's going to be water right then we have if i mean you could do it several way but i am going to let's say i'm going to use if uh, you can use safe larp or you know other different variations so i'm going to do if 
Uh, if it's if it's greater than zero, and then we uh, greater than zero is going to be grass and mountain. Else is going to just water, right? So we can just set color, and the color could be. Water. and then we can just plug in this this right, and we can pick a color for water let's say blue let's say this is the water color okay so there's the water this is going to be water bright and if is i'm going to copy this and do another if if is if it's greater than zero then we can do another we can do another greater saying if it's greater than let's say 10 right then we're going to be if it's 10 then it's going to be um it's going to be grass else is going to be sand Sand color, we can do something like I'm not a very good color. Let's say this is the sand color. Um, all right, so we have water, we have sand, then we're gonna have grass and mountain, right? Now we can say if is greater than 150, is going to be. rock or and snow else is going to be grass so is this is going to be green color right there that's the green so if it's greater than 150 then we're gonna be we're gonna do two things rock and then snow right uh so first let's do okay, i'm only gonna do rock uh, i'm only gonna do stone okay so you you can add one more uh for the snow part it's going to be okay it's going to be true and it's going to be that so we're going to create another color um let's say this is stone I don't know what's the color of stone, how the stone was supposed to look like, maybe I don't know, gray. Let's go with dark gray, okay? Something, something like this. Let's say this is stone. Now we just connect these from the set value to your first if and save it. Save it. So grab the third person character. And put it up. Since I'm using E4, probably I just have to do this. The camera up, then drop it here somewhere. Um, and then play. There you go. A full screen. And see what is generating. And then you have the sand. Let's. So we did. Uh, so this is water, as you see, like from blue water. So water starts at zero. Right? water side is you and then send we have from uh from you know plus zero which is like point one to ten um you have sand then you have grass so i think we have to i think we have to decrease make some tweet so we are not detecting the uh, this part. So it's probably like too high. Probably let's do one hundred, like three hundred. All right, yeah, 300, 300 is fine, but I'm still not getting. Oh, there you go, I got some mountains, the rock. So there you go. So it's, if it's higher than 100, 
um then it's gonna it's gonna change the color to stone color something like this below that is going to be um grass and you can keep going up and you can add more layers like you know you have different layers of grasses different layers of stone uh, and then you have the snow all the way at the top right 